welcome to Dublin City Channel's brand spanking new music programme, The Rock and Roll Show. Now, if you're wondering who the hell we are, allow me to introduce ourselves. We are the Backstage Blondes, aka this is the lovely Cara. Hola. My name's Gabby, nice to meet you. Um, our mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take you on a little journey around Ireland's really exciting, really thriving sort of underground rock and roll scene, which quite frankly, Cara and I don't think gets showcased enough, really, do Definitely, we? Definitely, definitely. Now, Gabby and I have been in the music scene a long time. There isn't a band we don't know, a venue yeah. we haven't been to, a bar we haven't drunk dry, or a tour bus we That's haven't sucked on. Don't try that one at home, please, children. <laughs> anyway, the point being that because of who we know and what we are, we'll bring you the type of interviews and the type of music program you just won't see anywhere else. And obviously, modesty was always one of Cara's finest points. Wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, coming up on today's show, we have we challenge up and coming band Sick Boy to a game of fuzzball and what their asses. We might add. We go behind the scenes where the magic happens in Temple Lane Recording Studio. We do, and also what I was really excited about, we caught up with Primal Scream's very own Manny. So stay tuned for that one. But right now we're here in the Ambassador and take a look when our Gabby met up with Anton from Brian Jones Town Massacre. Okay, I'm backstage at the Ambassador with Anton and Joel from Brian Jones Town Massacre. How are you boys? Good, and you? I'm very well, thank you. How very are you, Joel? Well, as well, thanks. Good. I, I know that you're embarking on, or you're actually doing a European tour as we speak. You're in, you're in where is it, last night, Sweden? Yes. How's, how's it all been going? Um, beautifully. Yeah? Very beautifully in Sweden. Uh, <laughs> have you, uh, how do you find night like, playing obviously from like American um, crowds to, to European crowds? Like, is there you much of a difference? Different. There are different things about the different countries and cultures it, within the EU. You know, in certain places people right. uh, let it all out on the weekends, in certain places people you don't, they kind of frown on drinking or drugging or anything. And some places people are wild, yeah. you know, it's, it's I, different I still from place can't, to place. Yeah, I still can't get used to the, the, the no smoking thing myself. Yeah, I, mean, I never thought it would tough, happen. Right? You know, well, it started in Berkeley across from San Francisco. And this yeah. is the, the lady mayor decided, she was a smoker, decided to quit really? and then take on big tobacco. And they were able to defeat those, those legal challenges. <laughs> and then everybody said, okay, now we can do it. Then it was New York. But once yeah. I started with, when they said it was going to go through in Ireland, I was like, well, it happened in Scotland. I'll leave yeah. it when I see it. And then they did it in Scotland, I was like, it's the end of the world, yeah. run for the hills. I took a drag, drag of a girl. cigarette, actually. Oh, yeah. And I, by the time I got off the of stage, they Glasgow. wanted to charge us like 2,000 pounds. Then they were like, yeah. they couldn't money. find the butt, so. I'm going to ask one quick question about the documentary, yeah. the famous documentary. Um, has that sort of changed since that came out? Has that, I mean, obviously it's greatly expanded your um, fan base. And the crowd, but the crowds at gigs, is that is that differed now? Or is it the, the what? The crab. The crab. Yeah, that's the crab. I, like, I didn't say crab. I'm not crab. I have Tourette's. Don't <laughs> Um, no, do you know what I'm trying to say there, like, obviously, since... It all since works it together, you know what, um, having, having all of our music for free on the internet has right. also done quite a bit. Yeah. yeah we've had, like, but 60 you, you, million downloads. Yeah, because you champion that, don't you? Because I know that some bands don't like it's it, but... It's supposed to be heard. Right. And it doesn't affect record sales. Yeah. And it helps. Because true people, fans are going to buy it anyway, aren't they? Well, They're yes. going to support you. So, so like like they want to own it. Exactly. So like you've lived in Aberdeen, even though it moves back and forth because of the oil industry or something. But in the record shop, the local shop, if the person that works at it orders the record isn't being told from record companies what to purchase, to yeah. stock, because they can't have everything, how would they know? So it makes it easier that people can, you know, sort of download it and go, man, you should just listen to this. Here's a link. Yeah. Press so, the button, listen to the music, not have to get a PayPal account or download right. from iTunes or some other server. It's it just makes it simple. Right. So you but guys I'm not against the commerce. Yeah. You know. Obviously you're a fan of Joy Division and I know just from talking to you earlier you said about you did the, the Ian Curtis tribute last year. Um are there any other sort of like British, Irish, sort of more European bands that, that you're influenced by or that like you're fans so of? Many, but you know, the, the thing that you have to remember is uh, a lot of things that we're influenced by, even people that are so far senior, 
mm-hmm. down the road, we're influenced by the same thing. So if I, you know, sat with Jason from Spiritualized or something, had a chat about what we were, you know, interested in before we started making our own things, you know, our record collections are the same, you mm-hmm. know, we like all the same jazz. It's just you put it in a blender with the ingredients in different right. bits. So, you know, the emphasis really isn't on Joy Division, but... I thought I thought that was really good for like a young group of people to p- make such a sincere yeah effort yeah, of music. Certainly. But I mean, uh, you know, I like the Pogues, and mm. uh, our music really isn't influenced as much by black music like blues, like our namesake or something would imply. Right. We're not blues based very much at all. Right. It's like if you look at the whole body of it, or when we present it, it's not really based on a rhythm and blues situation. You know. It's more on developmental stuff and, and Irish mu- and Scottish music, you know, yeah. because it comes in America, you know, they got the whole Appalachian and bluegrass and all that stuff. And a lot of those songs are a couple hundred years old that they brought over, you know, mm. so old songs that, that are twisted. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. So it isn't so much like, oh, this is like a feel hands song or something. It's like old stuff. Yeah. But I just put it together. Yeah. You know? Anyway, you've got um, Irish band Mainline supporting you boys tonight, haven't you? Yeah. Are you a fan of their music, or is this the first the thing, time you're? Well, the thing is, is we try and support people mm-hmm. that we like. Okay. You know. Do you like these boys? Well, I haven't met them personally, just only their oh, music, okay. and I right. don't. That isn't to say that I believe that an artist is his work, because I don't. You know, right. like you could be a fan of Jackson Pollock's paint splatters, but he wasn't a very nice person. Okay. You know? That doesn't mean that the paintings are worse for it. Yeah. Right? And there's right. a lot of people like that. Yeah, yeah, I do see what you're Sir saying. Paul McCartney. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, Everyone so take sides on the McCrayfish incident. <laughs> Okay, I think we, I think we need to we'll wrap it up there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I got it. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> Buzz um, kill. Uh, thanks very much for talking to me, guys, and good luck for tonight. I'm excited to, uh, to see it. studios aside in the music industry that only 